In this video, we're talking about experiencing God's faithfulness in your life. We serve an awesome God, and when we begin to understand that we serve a God who will do what He says He will do, we don't have to worry. Our God is a faithful God. Welcome, and if this is your first time to Epic Presentations, join this community by subscribing to the channel and enjoy videos that encourage people in Christ. We pray for our subscribers every day. We'd be honored to pray for you as well. Make sure to post your prayer requests, comments, or questions below each video, and make sure to like this video so we know if we're creating videos that are helpful for you. I'm Alan, and this is day two of Joel's book, and we're going to declare that we will experience God's faithfulness in our lives. Day two. I declare I will experience God's faithfulness. I will not worry. I will not doubt. I will keep my trust in Him, knowing that He will not fail me. I will give birth to every promise God put in my heart, and I will become everything God created me to be. This is my declaration. Every one of us has dreams and goals in our heart. There are promises that we are standing on. Maybe you are believing for a child to turn around, or believing to get healthy again, believing to start a business, or to be in ministry. Deep down, you know God has spoken that to your spirit. He has birthed it on the inside, but so often, because it's taken a long time and we've been through disappointments, we get negative and start thinking that it will not happen. The reason many people don't see God's promises come to pass is because they become discouraged and give up too soon. But just because you don't see anything happening doesn't mean God is not working. Just because it's taking a long time doesn't mean God ran out of options. Your mind is saying, it's over. Your emotions are saying, no way. The circumstances look impossible. That doesn't mean God won't do what he said. Just because you don't see anything happening doesn't mean God is not working. God is faithful to his word. All of his promises are yes and amen. That means if you will do your part and believe even though it looks impossible and not let your mind, your emotions, or other people talk you out of it, then God promises in due season and at the right time he will bring it to pass. It may not happen the way you expect it or on your timetable, but God is a faithful God. It will happen. He will not let you down. That's what he said in Hebrews 13. It will not in any way fail you or leave you without support. Therefore, we can say with confidence, The Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? You need to let that sink deep down on the inside. I will not fail you. God is saying, everything will work out. I'm in complete control. I know what the medical report says. I know what the financial situation looks like. I see the people who are coming against you. I know how big your dreams are. And hear me clearly. I will not fail you. I will not let you down. I will not let that problem overtake you. I will cause you to be the overcomer. God is saying, if we will keep our trust in Him, He will always make a way, even though it looks like there is no way. He will give you the strength for every battle, wisdom for every decision, peace that passes understanding. God will vindicate you for the wrongs that have been done. He will pay you back for the unfair situations. He promised he will not only bring your dreams to pass, but he will give you even the secret desires of your heart. Dare to trust him. Come back to that place of peace. Quit being worried, stressed out, wondering if it will happen. God has you in the palm of his hand. 
He has never once failed before, and the good news is he is not about to start now. That was day two, and I agree. We do serve a faithful God, and I know from experience that I believed for a promise I felt like God put in my heart for a long, long time. I have often wondered if it would ever happen, but I've learned to focus on the positive and not focus on how long it's taken. And that's because I've experienced God's faithfulness in the past and I know God will do what He says. And I have to remind myself, God has done it for me in the past and He will do it again. It is God's desire that you fulfill the promises He has put in your heart. We just need to do our part and continue to believe Him to equip us with everything we need as we continue to move in the direction of the plan and purpose He has for us. Don't give up. Your financial breakthrough, your healing, the promise God spoke to you could be just around the corner. Take a moment to comment below and share what promise has God spoke to you about or simply tell me, have you experienced God's faithfulness in your life? I can't wait to read your comments. Remember to like the video and share it with your family and friends. I'm believing that we will experience God's faithfulness in our lives and I can't wait to see you again in day three where we will declare God is giving us the grace we need for any situation for each day. And don't forget to come back tomorrow or since you're here, Check out day three right now or go to the playlist and start from day one so you don't miss out on the whole 31 day declaration series.